I was thinking about Bioshock Infinite the other day, as I do several times a year. And I had this thought about Columbia, the city in the sky where the game takes place. It's all so colorful and so happy. There are bright colors everywhere, people are always smiling and dancing when they're not being cryptic about some kind of profit. But what I also noticed is that there is a lot of vegetation in Colombia. There are trees and plants everywhere. But possibly what surprised me the most is the fact that there are lots and lots of flowers as well. And that begs the question, are those even real? Could they even survive so high up in the sky? Could they thrive all the way up there? Or are they fake? So yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out today. This video, weirdly enough, might contain some spoilers. Not for the end of the game, I don't think, but some other story stuff might be discussed. They're probably relevant to the flowers in some way if I do talk about them though. Also, yes, you could answer this question by saying that it is a video game after all, so of course they're not real, but uh, I do not like that answer. So just let's try and figure out the real one, shall we? So to help determine the answer to my very specific question, it's probably best to ask some other questions to get a better idea of what our situation is. Like, where are we really? How high up are we actually? But probably the most important one of them all, what flowers are there even in Colombia? Thankfully, one of the first things you see once you enter the city is a garden filled with green and a bunch of colorful flowers. Now, there are also a bunch of flowers scattered around the church where you arrived at by chair rocket, but we're going to be ignoring those as they're not planted, or at least not with the intent of growing to be part of nature. They were kinda just dropped there or put in a vase. But I took some screenshots from my gameplay and using Google's search by image functionality, I asked Google to tell me what kind of flowers the ones outside were. To see if it worked, if Google would recognize any of these at all, I figured I'd start off with one I knew myself, like this water lily for example. That, um, that's, that's not a golden lotus, is it? But it's also saying that it's World of Warcraft, so I'm not sure about that. Using a different image from a different angle, I eventually found one thing that called it a lily, so I'm gonna assume that it's kind of fine. Accurate scientific research, if you ask me. Now this allowed me to try the other images I had of the flowers in the inter area, and this led to me finding that in Colombia there are probably lilies, red roses, and possibly a daisy. And there were a few more outside this flower shop, which I guess I'll count too, and if I do, I think I found a hydrangea, a poppy, and a Japanese dandelion. Although I don't really know about this one, it seems a bit of a stretch. I don't know for sure whether this is the same one as the daisy even. I honestly just uh, asked my mom for help with most of these because my trust in Google wasn't too big. Even then, most of these are guesses. But it's a video game and flower accuracy was probably not high on their list of priorities. Some others I have also just taken out of the list because we just had no idea. And um, I, I hope you can accept that. <laughs> now. Are they real flowers? Even with the game graphics quality being on Ultra, we can tell by just looking at them because it is a 10 year old game after all, so we'll just have to take a different approach in answering that. Of course you could use the argument that there are tiers in this game that are like portals to alternate universes, and you could then claim that yeah, they're probably real in some dimensions and fake in others, but let's not get more philosophical here than necessary and actually try to figure this out. To answer this question, like I said, we're first gonna have to figure out a few other things. Like, where are we actually? Of course the answer to that is Colombia. Not the country, but the city. The city in the sky, that is. When you first enter the lighthouse and look at the walls, you can see a map of the US and some red lines as well as a schedule of where and when you can go to or leave Colombia, which all indicate that this game takes place in the United States. I later learned that Colombia is actually the female personification of the United States, Lady Colombia apparently. Uh, very cool, and had I known that, I wouldn't have had to intensely study this wall. Also apparently the lighthouse is just off the coast of Maine, according to the wiki, so that's useful too or at least will be later on. Anyway, that is one question out of the way. We now know where we are, we're above the United States. But how high above it, though? According to the intro sequence, when we get launched into the sky, we should be somewhere between 15 and 20,000 feet in the sky, which is somewhere between 4,572 meters and 6,096 meters. Originally, I thought, 
wow, that is super high. But then I learned that airplanes fly on average at an altitude of 35,000 feet or 10,670 meters. So yes, we are high up, but not even that high. It's not even higher than the tallest mountain in the US. Also, we can survive at almost double that altitude before our blood begins to boil, uh, ap apparently. So that's cool. But now knowing both the location and the altitude, another question is, what is the temperature like in Colombia? It's clearly sunny, so that's nice, and the people are wearing pretty thin clothes even though they are layered, so you'd think that it is at least a somewhat decent temperature. But since we're also 15 to 20,000 feet in the air, you would think that it would be significantly colder than at sea level. And according to some studies, the temperature drops about 5.4 degrees Fahrenheit for every 1,000 feet you go up. That is 9.8 degrees Celsius per 1,000 meters, by the way. But since we know that we're right near Maine, or at least like off the coast of Maine and then up in the sky, so basically we're sort of right above Maine, we can probably assume that the average temperature is somewhere between minus 55.8 degrees Fahrenheit and minus 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit if it's either spring or summer. And that's taking the average temperature temperature somewhere in Maine around spring and summer and then doing the calculations based on the altitude. That's somewhere between minus 48.8 and minus 19 degrees Celsius. To me that seems kind of unlikely and the game will try to work around that by stating that it's all quantum physics magic but uh, we're going to go with this data anyway and just pretend that that is accurate. These people are just really good with the cold apparently, like really, really good. I don't even want to think about how the beach and the water stuff works in Battleship Bay, honestly, because imagine swimming at like minus 19 degrees Celsius or minus 48 degrees Celsius. That sounds like a nightmare to me. Anyway, this gives us some super useful data, I think, because now we can ask the question, can these flowers actually survive here? Assuming the flowers are correct, and even if they aren't, and you conclude some of them are different flowers, uh, feel free to figure out whether they're real or not. But I don't think the results are very surprising. They would not survive the cold. Most of them wouldn't even be able to deal with the high altitudes. So the cold would simply demolish any chance they still had at succeeding. Besides, are they even getting any water up there? I mentioned Battleship Bay, but where is the water even coming from? So yes, there is a lot of quantum physics and nonsense happening, and most of this stuff doesn't make any sense at all. Clearly these people should be dying from the cold, but they aren't. But ignoring that, the answer to our question, are the flowers in Bioshock Infinite real? Probably not. Even if the temperature wasn't so weird, they would most likely not survive the altitude. So all those people selling flowers are honestly just selling plastic flowers. Which is cool too, gotta keep up the facade that everything is all good and happy, right? But I personally would not trust anyone here, if only for the flowers. All the other stuff is still to be determined, I suppose. Anyway, again, take all of this with a grain of salt, or uh, soil, I suppose. I'm just having fun asking silly questions about video games and spending way too much time trying to figure out the answers. Also, the gameplay was all from the intro, because even if there were way more flowers later on in the game, it didn't really matter as long as I had a couple of good examples. Anyway, subscribe. See you next time.